Lord, you are great and mighty. You are the great and the mighty God. We say let the high praise of God be in our mouth and a two-edged sword in our hand to execute vengeance on the enemies that have tried to pervade in this land. Jesus, you are the son of righteousness. And we say arise now, we're healing in your wings. For we say great are you, Lord. Mm. Highly esteemed, king of kings, lord of lords, release your sword to counter every attack of fear in this atmosphere. We say bow down that we may hear the heart and we may hear the sound of Jesus, Prince of Peace, Lord of Lords, great and mighty, great and mighty, great and mighty, great and mighty, great and mighty. With your glory, Lord. Lord, we wait on you to fill this place with your glory, Lord. You 
that he gave is only begotten Got the press to drop it, just at the kingdom of God And see the kingdom suffers violence, the violence taken by force Horse to ride a throne in the sea, your pole be with thee Free spirit, liberty, no occasion to sin There is a friend that's sticking closer than a brother Remind me those that seek me, do find me, fire refine me I love the way my Lord talk, ways are not my north salt Not by sight of faith walk, path of life in me salt Path of life in working, dispersing from this earthen Jesus Christ you dispel me cursing while you hung on a tree Dying for my liberty and my free Yes, so we in this place Looking up in your face Saying thank you Lord, we will taste to see How good that the Lord is Oh, we love your great and mighty You are to my soul We say great and mighty are you God uh, Great and mighty are you Lord We say great and mighty are you God uh, Great and mighty are you Lord We say great and mighty are you God uh, Great and mighty are you Lord Great and mighty are you, God. Great and mighty are you, Lord. I just want to tell the world about you. Yeah. How great you are. How great you are. Great. I just want to tell the world about you. How great you are. How great you are. Great. The world needs a savior. Call upon the name of Jesus, he shall be delivered. Hey, if any man should call upon the name of Jesus, he shall be delivered. Anybody need to be delivered from something? The world needs a savior. Ooh, the world needs a savior. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Let me say, the world needs about you but it 
wasn't just back in the day when it was true. Jesus is the same today and forever, forever. The same yesterday, today, forever. The same yesterday, today and 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 forever. Forever, forever, forever. Yeah. You never change. 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 Yeah. Never. Change. never, change. never change. Eternal. Never change. For eternity. Never change. Stay the same. Stay the same. Jesus, thank you that you stay the same. We love that name. <laughs> Almighty King, you reign. You reign. You reign. to your heart right now. I hear the sound of Psalm chapter 91. Yeah. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most shall abide under the shadow of the almighty host. I will say of the Lord that you are my refuge supporter, my fortress God and you will I trust confidence in my hope. Surely you will deliver me from the snare, snare of the fowler, the noise of pestilence, pestilence, Let's preach is put in power. Cover me with your feathers. Under your wings, I trust. Your truth, my shield and buckler. Four simple words are right. So not afraid of the nightly terrors and arrows that's flying by my mind and my time, and it's in your hands. It's also not afraid of the pestilence, waste of the darkness, nor for destruction, waste of the new day. Kingdom into advance. Even though a thousand fall on my side, even though it's ten thousand, but right, it will never near me. See it very clearly. I see the wicked can ruin it. Right? 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 Shelter is where I run. Yeah. You are my protector. You're my protector. Your shelter is where I run. Nothing will come to my dwelling place. Yes, yes, yes. Cause I run to you.
even now, oh God, let your spirit begin to be removed upon the heavens, upon the earth, oh God. Let the anointing destroy every yoke of bondage upon your people during this season and in this timing, oh God. So Lord, we offer our sacrifices of praise. We honor you, Lord, that you are the breaker and that you've already gone before us. Go before us tonight, oh God. Those that are gathering in your name, oh God, lift up a standard, oh God, against every enemy against every disease, against everything that seems impossible. And Father, we come to you because we know that all things are possible. And those that are hanging on and say, where must we go and who shall we who turn to? And Lord, they can call upon your name. Let it echo in the houses and the city of this city, God, the surrounding cities. And let the nations and those that are in government begin to cry out, Abba, Father, what must I do to be saved? How can this nation Bear my glory, display my glory again. We will lift our voice and say, God, God. reveal your glory to us again yes. in a greater measure. There's a greater glory coming to this place. Yes. And we want your glory. You said we have not because we ask not. And, and tonight we say, we want to see your glory. We want to see your glory, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we want to see your glory. We want to see your glory, Jesus. We want to see your glory, God. We want to see your glory, God. We want to see your glory upon the nations, Lord. We want to see your glory upon the nations, Lord. We want to see strong men bow. We want to see the wicked deliver. Come on, let them cry out. You give us time to repent. God, you give them time to repent. Jesus. We want to see a turn around, turn around. No, oh, that you might be merciful. Lord, that you might be merciful. We thank you, Jesus, that you might be merciful.
so the whole world can see you. <laughs> Write it high in the sky, <laughs> the thing you want. Mm-hmm. And men will cry and say, What must I do? The men will bow down and worship you. Write your wonders in the sky. What you do, do what you do, do what you do. <laughs> yes. Ah, Lord, as you write your name in the sky, we see the one that is lifted up high. Thank you as you look over the land. We feel the comfort and the grace in your eye. You are Jehovah Elroy, the God who sees. So we will not fear any disease. For your word, it puts us at ease. For it never fails. It never fails. It never fails. Yes. Write your word in the sky. As your word is being written in the sky, thank you that it's being written on our hearts. Thank you that you're inscribing your word on our hearts. Lord, let us begin to feel even the puncture of the wound of the pen that is beginning to write on our hearts. to pierce through the channels in our veins as you write your word on our hearts. Lord, begin to pierce through us and underneath us as you write your word on the table of our heart. Lord, thank you that even as you're piercing through our inner bone, piercing through our marrow, You are right now discerning the thoughts and the intents of our hearts. And so we speak to this atmosphere right now. And we say, let the word of Jesus begin to discern the atmosphere. Begin to discern the intents of the heart of this atmosphere. Your word is sovereign. itself on your heart right now let the words of the Lord just breathe on the heart right now releasing truth releasing life releasing spirit as you sanctify our hearts with your truth your word is truth Write your word on the table of our heart. Yes. What you say that gives us life each and every day, Lord, you are our prayer. Is what you say. Steady, steady, Lord. Even when kingdoms are falling, Lord, you are steady, steady, steady. You steady us, God, with your love is unshakable, it's unmovable. Your word has captured my heart. Yes, come on. Yes, come on. You steady us 
begin to talk about the words of God being written on the tablets of our heart. It's like I can see the arms of God wrapped around our heart. It's every word, every, it's like I can see the, the hearts of the people just aching and beating for those words to just caress them. And it's like a breath of fresh air saying, now I can live, now I can, I believe, now I can trust, now I can do this thing. Now I can trust somebody. I can, I can be relentless. I can, I can really do this. I believe you, God. And I can see the heart just growing and just enlarging with faith. And I can see the words wrapped around like a, like a banner around the heart saying, I believe you, God. I love you, God. Take me away, God. I'm with you, God. I believe you, God. The word I'm hearing, I believe you, God. I believe every word just saying, even though the earth is shaking, you've been my steady love. You have been constant. You have been my meat. You have been with me day and night. You have not abandoned me in the midst of a storm, but yet you put a blanket over me and you blanketed me with your love and your words caressed me day and night. And when I called upon your name, you were there to answer me. And many said, I have searched for other lovers. I've even went back. But, Lord, you, but they've understood that that's not it. That's not it. Because the one thing 
that I can depend on. And you are my one thing. You are my steady one thing. And saying, you are the faithful one who would never leave us, even when I cannot see and blind us our half way, covering my eyes. Your words, the words that come out of your mouth have kept me alive. I am alive because you live in me and I in you and I move and have my being. I can believe every word that come out of your mouth. You are my meat. You are my bread. You are my breath. I cannot do this life without you. You know, as you were speaking, hallelujah, I keep hearing Psalms 46 verse 10. And I want to read this passion translation. It says, surrender your anxiety. Be silent and stop your striving and you will see that I am God. I am the God above all the nations and I will be exalted throughout the whole earth. Hmm. Here he stands, the commander, the mighty Lord of angel armies is on our side. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, thank you that you are on our side. So we will be still and know that you are God. Hmm. You are on my side. You are on our side, oh God, fighting. So we will hold our peace as you fight for us, Lord God. Fight for us. Thank you, Lord God. For you are the Lord of the angel armies lifted on high. As you fight for us, oh God. So we will cease from striving on the inside, oh Lord. For you are fighting for us. Thank you, oh Lord, that you are assembling the heavenly host fight for me. to fight for us, oh God. Mm. Fight for me. To fight for Zion, oh Lord. Mm. Fight for me. Lord God. You are on my side. Mm. Lord, it is so comforting to fight know for us, Lord. that you are on our side. You're on our side, Jesus. You comfort us on every side. Yes, fight for us. You are on our side. Hallelujah. Fight for the city. Come on. Fight for the families of the earth. Oh Lord, yes you will. You are on my side.
you need right now and every mountain it will bow is it sickness come on what is it right here right now you're breaking out miracle signs and wonders and every mountain it will bow Revelation light to guide me along the way He's the source of my salvation To defend me every day I will fear no one I never turn back and run just from you Lord So surround and protect me right now With your mighty mighty sword When evil ones come to destroy me They will be the ones who turn back My heart will not be afraid Even if an army attacks I know that you there are for me I will not be shaken Oh no, you're the one thing I crave You're the one thing I crave One thing that I desire of you to dwell in your house forever, Lord, so you can come and give me fire flames up in my heart. I say your name every day as I proclaim that Jesus Christ is King of Kings, Lord of Lord, that is your name. You got it. Say no. it loud. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> say it loud. Jesus. Jesus. I see mountains, I see pictures of mountains right now beginning to come down. I, I see like literal pictures as we're just speaking Psalms 27. I see literal pictures of mountains coming down. And so, Lord, even as we release your heart and your sound, we know right now that you're causing grace to begin to abound. And so right now we say let the angels be released in this atmosphere to find where those spirits of fear and unbelief are lurking around. And we say begin to bring those mountains of unbelief down in the name of Jesus. Every mountain of unbelief is coming down. Every mountain. Come on, it's coming down. Every mountain of unbelief in our cities. It's coming down. It's coming down. Oh, you are a God of truth. It's coming down. We pray that you will bear your fruit. It's coming down. You're showing the enemy your proof. It's coming down. That you are on our side. It's coming down. Yes, come on. It's coming down. It's coming down. Down. It's coming down. Come down. 
Francisco, come down. It's coming down. It's coming down. In Chicago, come down. In China, it's coming down. It's coming down. Let mountains of unbelief in our cities come down. Coming down. In New York City, they're coming down. Coming down. In Japan, they're coming down. Coming down. In Russia, let grace abound. Coming down. Every hidden mountain, every hidden thing's coming down. Coming down. In Texas, it's coming down. It's coming down. Coming down, coming down. It's coming down. I see the state of Alabama, mountains of unbelief. Coming down. Coming down, coming down. 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 Coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, every eye, coming down, every mountain, coming down, every hidden day, coming down, coming down, coming down, it's coming down, coming down, coming down, every strong, coming down, coming down, standing in the way, coming down, coming down, coming down, you are ready, coming down, finished it all, coming down. Blood of Jesus. Use the blood of Jesus. Use the blood of Jesus. Use the blood of Jesus. We lose the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus be. Jesus, even as mountains are coming down and you cause grace to abound, we say right now, let every knee bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. We bless you, God. And we say, let your name begin to permeate throughout the earth. Mm. Lord, we speak to every single nation. We speak to the prophetic destiny in every nation. And we say that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And we command right now every nation to yield to the commands of the Lord. We decree that the counsel of the Lord shall stand forever. Mm. Though mountains be shaken and hills be removed, the Lord has an unfailing love for you and his love will never change for the Lord is saying that even in these times of pain I'm causing the spirit of prophecy to begin to break forth through the shame for many are running and suffering from anxiety and fear but the Lord is saying look to me draw near I will fill you with the love that is more than you can ask or think. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. My word is pure. And as it goes through the furnace of earth, it has been tested and tried. Look to me in these times. And don't be frazzled or frustrated. Know that I am the Lord, and I will be the God of all comfort in your life. Yes. So allow me to console you as you look at these things that look unsteady. Don't you understand that there is a change that is going on around you, says yes. the Lord. Don't be frazzled, but stay stable. Look to me as your rock, says the Lord. For as long as you're willing and able and obedient, yes. you will eat the good of the land. For my land is not of this world, says the Lord. Jesus. 
My land is not governed by the doctrines of man. And I desire to call my sheep to eat of the good of this land. For my sheep know my voice and another they will not follow. And I lead my sheep to eat the great pasture of the land. So even as you see a thousand that may fall at your side or 10,000 at the right, know that I am your shepherd in the day and in the night. Come unto me, come unto me, says the Lord. And I even see a hand right now just beckoning. Yes. So I speak Psalms 31 verse 15 that says, our times are in your hand. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you that our times are in your hand. So thank you, Lord. We, we, we press into this right now that our time is in your hand. Our time is not in the hand of what we see. Our time is in your hand. And so, Lord, we say let the sovereignty of your hands continue to be released into our life. Lord, we thank you for every single person that is hearing this right now. Lord, that is responding to the beckoning of your hand, calling us to that land that is good, where the rivers make that city glad. We love your hand. love your hand we humble ourselves now under your hand the comfort of your hand the strength of your hand such power in his hand such power in his hand Love your presence and we thank you oh god we're so grateful god we thank you we're so grateful for your glorious presence we actually Jesus. feel this room even those that shall view this that god it will cause their hearts to be enlarged with love and, and that fear be cast out tonight we ask that fear be cast out tonight god that they would just grab a hold of you tonight and see your glory and see your face and receive your peace. And Father, we thank you for peace. We, we declare that peace is established. We decree that your kingdom is at hand. No matter what's happening in the earth, God, tonight we focus on you. We set our eyes upon you. We have dove eyes for you tonight, oh God. And God, we ask that you teach us, train us, even many, even as um, Phil was saying that many people are full of anxiety and, yes. and there's so much reaching here and reaching there. And, you know, and I'm, I'm a little compassionate because it's the mother in me. And I say, you'll get there, you'll get there. But I pray tonight that faith be restored, yes. faith to worship. Yes. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm reminded of the children of Israel when they came through the journey of Egypt. The Bible says that not one was feeble. And we are on a journey 
there's something amazing and explosive that's ahead of us. Come on, yes. you know. And but God, it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, what nationality you are, what those things does not matter. What matters is that none were feeble and that God made us all free. He made them free. And so there's a huge expectation that I feel that's being filled back into the hearts of men when they view this, when they worship, when we all gather, whether you and you're here with us tonight or uh, daytime, wherever you are, whether you are at home in Australia, New Zealand, Ghana, wherever you are, that you will capture the heart of God. I like what you said about that the land that we are, that we that we are in is not of this world. Come on. It reminds me of the scripture that says, uh, when God says, I own the cattle on a thousand hills, and if I was hungry, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> you know, you, you do the math, you yeah, know, like yeah. how many cattle on a thousand hills, but it could be like a billion cattle on a thousand yeah, hills. Yeah. I mean, what are we talking about? We're talking about something that is limitless to us. And it's like <laughs> when I said the sky's the limit, and then I realized that okay it's the limits to use because you probably need some glasses but in the kingdom of God it's eternal and so you know I just believe that something contagious for sure is happening tonight and that people are rekindling that fire that was uh, doused out with fear and anxiety and there's something about the supernatural love of God that gathers our hearts and pricks us, gets us back to that place. And so, so not just tonight, we got to gather another night and another night. It's like one of those everlasting romances that never end, like an extended honeymoon, you know, <laughs> or an extended phrase. <laughs> right. This is the extended version of what is to come. We just have a glimpse of it. The more we worship, the more God reveals his love for us. Yeah. You know? yeah. This is amazing, Joy. This is amazing. And yo, like awesome. you Shout are talking to right now on them kids, yes. bro. Come on. It's better to mm -hmm. be quiet and let you begin to prophesy on that boy. Yeah. Real quick before he does that, I wanna I wanted to keep playing. Mm. Yeah. But what was but what I was sensing when we were at that piece hitting about the mountain, I felt like I, I could feel the Father's heart just saying to us, what do you need? What is it that you need? Like right now, like I feel like you could feel like the weight, there's so much pressure. There's all these things, there's these mountains, there's yes. these giants, there's these voices. I feel like the whisper of the Father and all of it, mm. just saying, what do you need? Yes, what do you need? need so so we're on that. The, the, the minstrels are gonna <laughs> prophesy over you, but just create this space right now with the Father, knowing that His yes. voice to you right now is saying, what do you need? What is it that you need right now in this moment? We're just yeah. gonna make some space and just let the voice of the Lord just come in. that have been suffering and struggling with mental illness. I just feel like the Father right now is just lifting off those heavy weights, lifting off the sense of, of dread off of you. 
the peace of God is your portion here now. Rest is your portion here now. You felt like you were slipping away, but I held on tight to you. Cause I keep my promises I keep my promises You felt like you were just slipping away But I held on tight to you Cause I don't lie Cause I don't lie I won't let you slip away I'm fighting for you. I'm fighting for you, says the Lord. Don't give up. Cast your cares upon me. Because I care for you, everything about you. I keep all my promises and they are yes and amen I'm gonna do what I promised you I'm gonna stick around I'm the God that sticks around I'm the author and the finisher of your faith and I'm committed to you to see that you finish what you started Don't give up Don't give up, don't give up You're not losing control You're just falling in love again Steady love, your steady love. Shut the mouths of your enemies. Faithful and true. <laughs> Don't you love it when he shows out? Faithful. Uh -uh. Can you see how big he is and how little your problem does?
voices of your enemy. In fact, I will shut them out right now. I rebuke you, devil. <laughs> right, right. I rebuke you, lying devil. Let me hold my beloved in my arms. Sake of the Lord with you, Jesus. He says, I really do make everything all right. <laughs> this feels like so amazing, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Like I see, you know, it's like a tug of war in the spirit, and this is the thing. It's like um, there are people who had some really traumatic issues. And it's like they know about God, and, and at one point they were there, like just just so taken back. But that traumatic thing, you know, put a wedge there. And I hear the Lord says, I heard it when Philip said, "God is fighting for us." He says tonight, "I am fighting for you." Listen, I'm fighting for you. Listen, you're going to experience my presence, my love. You know, you're going to experience my joy where joy has been sapped out. But you can feel my strength. You know, it's almost like I hear those saying, you know you hear me. You know you can feel it. You know I'm there for you. So, guess what? I don't lie. <laughs> like, for real. Like, yes. Like, I don't laugh about stuff like this. Yes. God is just so amazing. It's like he's sitting in the living room with us. You know, Jesus comes in, he takes his seat, and, and he goes, hmm, hmm, you know, like that. <laughs> he sits with us, uh, he communes with us. I have such a place tonight, just a place of beauty, the beauty of Jesus, the beauty of yes. being in that divine connection with the one that we love. And I just feel like even right now in this place, there's like this godly confidence beginning yeah. to rise up again. Because it's like the, the war, there's been such a war over our vision, <laughs> such a war over our hope, such yeah. a war over That's our good. ability to see what God has promised. But I feel like in this place, it's almost like the lullaby of God yeah. is causing this confidence, this godly confidence yes. in the promise to rise up in a new way again. It's coming, coming full circle. Like that moment when you like first hear his voice and your faith is all the way up. I feel like God is just, his lullaby is causing that to happen yes. in us again tonight. Like, like yeah. a, you know, like the you know, rapture. Come on, get back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we just pray right now, Lord, that you're lighting our candle and enlightening our darkness. Lord, that you're releasing such a fire inside of us. Lord, we pray for every single person that has been feeling detached yes. during these times. Every person that feels distant from you. We decree right now your word, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 19, that they would know the love of Christ. Oh God, that you would minister to their spirit in their inner man and cause that area to know the love of Christ. Oh, Lord, as the love of Christ is being released to them right now, just as you leave the 99 and you go out yes. for the one, Lord, thank you that you're going out and gathering them back into the sheepfold now. And so I pray that every single voice of confusion yes. that is spoken to them to make them feel like they can't hear you, Lord, like they don't know where they're at, we bind right now that spirit of confusion and we lose peace. We lose peace that passes all understanding. We say right now, let their time begin to be recalibrated yes. in the timing of the Lord. Lord, let their steps begin to be recalibrated with your voice that your word will be a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their path. Lord, we speak right now to every single spirit of deafness that has tried yes. to overtake the ears of the people of God. 
to block us from hearing what thus says the Lord. Yes, Lord, we open up the ears right now. We unplug the ears in the name of Jesus. And we say begin to fill us with the testimony of Jesus that is the spirit of prophecy. We decree now for an overflow of breath. Jesus, open up the ears. Yes. Release your breath into our ears. Yes. Come on. Open up. Open us up. Ears open. Open up, open up, open up. Open, open, yeah. Open, open, open. Open us up so we can heal, 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 yeah. <laughs> Say this, snatch us back. Yes. <laughs> snatch back. <laughs> Woo. That's what God is doing. Someone's like, yeah. snatch us back. Hey. Yeah. Some snatching is going on right now. Come on. <laughs>
Proverbs 22, verses 17 through 19. It says, open your ears and hear the words of wise people and set your mind on the knowledge I give you. It is pleasant if you keep them in mind so that they will be on the tip of your tongue so that your trust may be in the Lord. Today I have made them known to you, especially to you. Mm, it's the GW version, God's word. So Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, that because you are opening our ears right now to hear, Lord, that you are strengthening our trust in you at this moment. Thank you that that bond of trust is being strengthened. And Lord, even as we have endeavored through our worship, through our prayers, through our decrees, to keep the unity of the Spirit, we thank you, Lord, that you're establishing a bond of peace in this atmosphere. And so, Lord, we grab hold to this bond. And we thank you that this bond, huh, this bond, Lord God, that was formed by you, Jesus, you, Father, and you, Holy Spirit, we join with this bond right now. Yes. And we thank you that you will never let us go. And so we say, yes. let the Lord's peace be upon you today. Yes. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, lift up his countenance upon you yes. and give you peace. <laughs> yes. I think I have just breathed Jesus in. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Breath Hallelujah. of God. Yeah. So thank you for tuning in with us for another heart and sound time of just going after Jesus, yes. going after the voice of God. We're so grateful for you tuning in. We're praying that everything you receive tonight would just multiply as you go throughout the rest of your week. We just multiply the sense of God's presence, the sense of his voice, the sense of confidence, the sense of hope restored would multiply as you go throughout your week. We're grateful for you. Thank you for tuning in with us. And we'll catch you on the next one.